Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Our process is advertising management system. Let's say start with abstract. Online auctions have effectively created a large marketplace for participants to bid and sell products and services over the internet. In this project, we, we are developing a software for online auction. Online auction is known by several names including electronic re reverse bid auctions. Reverse auctions are simply e-auctions. Online auction is a which is based for auction. If you want to something sell by auction, then you post that on website. The main objective of the e-auction process must must be to obtain best value and the highest price. It cannot be possible to achieve best value outcomes whilst the focus remains on price. Vendor can sell his products on his website and a customer will purchase it. Product will be given to those customers who put a high bid price on product to purchase. This flow diagram shows the overall process of the project initially. A customer will uh, register their detail and log in. <coughs> if he is an uh, existing user, they can directly go for a login page. Then uh, the logged user will be redirected to the product form. Here the, they can uh, add a new product information for bidding. And uh, he, he or she can also have the choice of uh, bid for an uh, existing added pro product. The admin will uh, view the added uh, pro advertising details and filter for view, uh, user, user viewable format. The logged user can search for a particular product and uh, ask a bit. If the uh, bit uh, range is high, they will be getting the corresponding product finally. Next, we see the demo of our process. Run the process. Click on my uh, account button here go, go for new user button provide the email id password and password and phone number details enter the capture value after provide all the details Click on register button to register the information into the database. Account is successfully created and provide user ID and password value to login. If we uh, want to change the password, we can go for forget password option. And click login here. Here provide the product name. which we want to add, upload add, then choose category, provide a image for the corresponding product which we are going to upload, provide a description, then up provide a bit range of of a, of a product then provide the seller id and the phone number detail click on upload button the image will be uploaded along with the values click on summon button the post is added successfully then go back click on view add button Click search product button, choose the category and click OK. It will show the uh, list of uh, advertised product detail. Then go back and uh, here provide the user ID and the password value for uh, bid, bid a specific uh, product item. Here provide the seller ID. To buy a product, we have to provide uh, choose the seller ID and the corresponding product name submitted by the seller and choose the category. Click on view button, it will show the corresponding contact number. By, the, by using this, we can later communicate with the corresponding seller. To ask, uh, ask a bid, click on ask for bid button. Here, provide the buyer ID, that is our ID, and uh, provide the seller ID. The the one who is going to sell this one. 
we'll choose category and uh, provide the product name detail provide the bid range for that corresponding uh, product click on fix rate this uh, rate will be added in the bid, bid value then to view the bid detail we have to provide the buyer id and the category name value for the submitted bid range value here the purchase status is empty if the admin uh, provide the rights to buy this product the, the status will be updated to view that here in the admin process the admin will initially view the list of advertised product detail then he will uh, categorize the product based on the category which is available then uh, choose click plus button this this will add categorize the product in the corresponding list then click back view bid range click next here the admin will uh, assign the buying permission to the one who asking for high bid range then here the buyer id is chosen and uh, assign the permission to buy the corresponding product cycle then click back then come to home page here provide click on my account data and provide a user id and password click login here uh, to view the bid status of the uploaded product here we have to login and provide a uh, id value here the bid range is uh, 8500 this value is uh, asked by a person and uh, to view the uh, product name provide the id value enter the product name the value is empty here to view the co corresponding detail we have to click on new add button and uh, to view the status of the detail login first click provide password detail To view the purchase product detail, click on purchase product and uh, provide the ID value. Then choose category. To view the status of the bid detail, here we have to provide the buyer ID and uh, category to check with that. Here the purchase status is granted. Now we are we have to we are going to buy the product that click on purchase product provide the user id and uh, choose the category provide the product name then provide the bid range we ask then click on account id here we have to provide the account id number to buy the product then click on buy pay to buy product the product is going to be purchased this will show the button message your product uh, is purchased successfully click on logout button to come out from the process now the seller may know the product is uh, purchased by someone or not for that we have to check for here provide the user id and uh, password to login and uh, view the status of the bid on in product name here it is showing the bid range is 8500 for the cycle product by this the process is completed thanks for listening